Hey guys, Scott from Aristocob.com here. And Seth from TheShrinkingPastor.com. And together, the three of us. I'm, I'm a little bit lost. Where are you on this? <laughs> uh, we'll, we'll find out. We'll find out in post. <laughs> the, the three of us, we are Markwood Men's Breakfast Club. Welcome and welcome, boy. Howdy. Good morning. So uh, we are once again, as you can tell, uh, recording live via Skype. However, today I'm home, and boy, where the heck are you? I am in my office. No, you're in your closet. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm, I'm in my office at work. I uh, have been swamped with work. I have a dinner meeting tonight, and uh, tonight being yesterday. Um, ah. And so the only time that we could fit in a recording was uh, from <laughs> two towns, two towns 20 miles apart. No, wait uh, a second. I'm, I'm recording this on Wednesday morning. Where, where, when are uh, you? <laughs> uh, well, the, the magic through the magic of Skype, um, I am uh, in a different time and space than you. <laughs> oh, that is amazing! Yeah. Well, all right. So um, both of us are are pressured for time, but uh, of course we want to make sure we make time for all of you, 125 people that actually watch our channel. <laughs> but you're important. So uh, a couple things. I got some yabos here that uh, I need to get get around to. I've I, I think I only know what one of them is, and uh, and that's this one because I've already opened it. <laughs> you think you know what that is? I think I know what this is. Okay. I, actually, um, a gentleman who has uh, had some T-shirts made threw me a message and said, hey, can I send you a T-shirt? And it's like, um, yeah, send me a T-shirt. And so he has come up with this shirt. Wow, that's beautiful. Can you see it all? Yeah. All right. Um, I'm going to put some information about his uh, his website over on Facebook. All right. So check out the Aristocob Facebook page so I can uh, give him the credit he deserves. Um, yeah, I'll just do it that way. That, that, that'd be a heck of a lot easier than trying to figure out all the information here. Uh, let's see. I got. I, sh I should sing. I got me a yabo. I got me a yabo. I got me a yabo and a yabo and a yabo. Oh my goodness! I got you, a couple yabo here, boy. Some somebody loves you. Uh, my guess is it's probably you. There might be a bill <laughs> attached to some of these. So. <laughs> <laughs> let's see. I'm not exactly sure how to get into this one, so let's just get into it. And I I didn't bother to block out anybody's address here, so I apologize. From uh, Salem, Oregon, whoever this is. Hey, well, yeah, I think well, this, while you're out, I want you just go ahead and read the address. This for, does for, feel like something that I've purchased. It is. Oh yeah, okay. This is one I got on. Uh, I bought this on eBay. Check this out, boy. This is uh, a okay. Phil Kagi acoustic guitar lessons on uh, VHS. On VHS. How, how are like, you going to watch that? This is well. This is out of circulation now, and the DVD is like two hundred bucks. And I went looking mm -hmm. for it uh, for my niece, who's interested in playing a guitar. And I thought she would appreciate this. Yeah. And so what I'll do is I'll I'll get that uh, burned onto a, a DVD and get gonna, that off to her. I was gonna say, you know what else is uh, out of circulation these days, don't you? VHS and, and, yeah. and, and DVDs. Yeah. And DVDs. All right. Yeah. This one is from uh, Dodif. Remember Dodif? No. Yes. Dota, he's a he's a gentleman who mods pipes. He oh yeah, entered a couple couple pipes in last year's uh, Cobb Foolery. Cobb Foolery contest, and he's been just going to town and posting pictures of really cool looking pipes over on Instagram here lately. And uh, one of the ones that he's made that I've been so impressed by. Whoa, and this is this is uh, actually got some heft to it. Whatever he has sent. All right, hold on. There is a bill, now a note. Oh, my goodness. He's got excellent handwriting, which means I'm going to have a hard time reading it. Oh, and look, based on the slant, he's a lefty. Uh -huh. I didn't realize that Dodip is wrong-handed. He's got a lefty, uh, uh, lefty slant. All right, I'll, I'll read this in private, but basically he's, uh, he's saying... Oh, I love you, Aristocob, so much. I'm your biggest fan. That's gush, it. Gush, gush, gush. That he's, he's going crazy modding pipes, and he's really enjoying it. So let's see what he's, what he's got in here. Oh, and he's included the one thing I really hope that he would. 
Check that out. Awesome. So Dodif has been making a corn cob version of uh, Chris Morgan's uh, Briar Cigar concept. That's cool. And when Dodif posted his first picture of one of these on Instagram, Chris Morgan jumped on real quickly and posted a, a pointed out that he had posted a picture of his version of a cob um, cigar quite a bit before Dota f- had done his. And Dota said, well, you know, I, I will, uh, you know, since it's your idea, clearly, I won't be selling these. But what he did say is, I may just give a few of them away. So look at that. I am so excited by that. That's awesome. That is awesome. You, using a, an original Missouri Meerschaum uh, bit or stem on there. I have to check that out. But wait, there's more. He has also included something else in the bag. Ah, this is a Dodif original right there. So look at that. He's he's taken what looks like a country gentleman. He's added a corn cob uh, shank to that, and then this has got a uh, what? I've I've heard of those uh, corn cob shanks. Um, I think it was. Yeah. Uh, Featured in um, Shake doc- Redemption. documentary <laughs> Corn Shank Redemption, yeah. But he's he's marked it with a D for Dodif. Cool. cool, and that's neat. He's added some detail here and, and yeah. totally finished this. This is really slick, and of course, the original uh, country gentleman does not have this uh, this Danish stem on it, which is my my personal favorite. Awesome. Thank you so much, Dodif. I really do appreciate this. What are you smiling at, boy? You got a smirk on your face like, yeah, that's what Scott needs is more corn cobs. I do need corn cobs. The the camera, no, you you do need more Arista cobs. No, you don't. (laughs) And and last, but uh, I I don't know. Oh, I know what this is. All right, so this is from from Ms. Ms. Skeeter. Do you even know who that is? Mm-hmm. All right. Um, I, I won a little contest probably about a month ago. I think I got a second place or third place uh, in that contest. And if I recall correctly, this is a ceramic pipe rack, mm. pipe, pipe holder. So hold on. Let me get in here. My gosh. And lots and lots of bubble wrap. I think that just might be the best part here. Hold on a second. Did you <clears throat> did you know that they uh, company is has redesigned bubble wrap? Have you seen that? What do you mean? They have completely redesigned bubble wrap, and the new design is unpoppable. I know. Um, so they, they, there's a, a quick video, a short five ten minute documentary on this. Um, New sex section going around the internet. They showed how much space bubble wrap takes to ship um, because you know it comes in big bundles, uh, big spools. Sure. And just it takes up so much space because it, the bubbles become pre filled. Well, one of the premier bubble wrap companies has developed a mechanism that blows up the bubbles on an as needed basis. But in order to accomplish that, the bubbles are now in rows. And so, kind of like uh, if you get like an air mattress, you right. know how it's sectioned off. It, it, it has those cups in it, um, sure. But it's uh, it fills up a whole row at a time. And so um, they've hmm. showed how they they're able to make a huge, take a huge bundle of bubble wrap and condense the, the equivalent down into a small spiral. Um, and so they're they're rolling this out. The the amount of money that is going to be saved on shipping costs will justify businesses buying their own inflating machines for okay. this. Well, but my, my employer can make their own bubble wrap. They have that ability. So there must be more to it than what you're saying. Well, maybe they're selling that. Maybe they have streamlined it to sell it to a broader audience. Than your employer could be, um, could be. All right. Well, wait. So here's here's the pipe rack, and you can see on the back it's it's dated, so mm-hmm. six of uh, 2015. And hey, if only I had a corn cob pipe to put in this. If only. <laughs> 
Look at oh. that. That's a great fit. Look at that. that. Is that and, clay? Oh, that's perfect. It's clay. Cool. It's clay, and it's got some... Um, I'm, not sure, I'm not sure what design that is, but it, it looks like vine. Yeah. Like a vineage of some sort. That's really quite attractive. I think it's clay. I, I don't think that, that would be plaster. But, gosh, that is really a great fit. Yeah. Nice. Look at that. Look like at those that. yabos were meant to be open at the same time. I know. That is awesome. It's just going to go right there. All right. So, it's been a while. I, I've, I, I have been for weeks now, whenever I've popped back into town to do my laundry and to kiss my wife, uh, I've been seeing these packages piling up by the door. So, that's, that's why I forgot all about that uh, VHS tape. Kind of a weird yabo, but... <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> anyway, how about you? What's going on with you? Uh, not a lot. Working a lot. Um, uh, work life has been real busy, but it's all right. Yeah. Um, preparing for my wife and two boys to go out of town this upcoming weekend. They're going to visit uh, um, Allison's grandparents in Kentucky. You're going with them? Or no. They're going? No, they're going. They're going for over a week. I, I don't have that kind of time to take off work. Mm. Um, it's It's okay. It's okay. <laughs> uh, it's, it's all right. Um, and, uh, so preparing for that last, last night, <clears throat> um, the meeting that I have tonight was actually, was planned for last night. And, uh, so it was, um, it was postponed uh, a day and I was able to join my family, um, at the pool. Uh, we went swimming last night. Um, and, uh, Ender, is so he's my three year old and he's getting uh I remember yeah, I remember him. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> um he's getting frighteningly brave in the pool. Um he he loves to be in the water. He loves to swim. Um and uh <laughs> he also is frighteningly trusting. Um one of the things that he was doing last night, we were trying we we're trying to to teach him to swim. Um and he has the motions down. Problem is, as soon as he gets close to somebody, he stops. Um, mm. And he doesn't yet have enough uh, power in his, in his arm stroking and, and in his legs to um, keep himself above water. Um, so last night, we were trying to push, have him jump off of, of my legs and push him out to mommy. And, and then he would jump out to me and, and told him, okay, now enter. You need to keep paddling, and you need to keep moving your arms. You need to keep, keep you know, make cups out of your hands, and keep reach, 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 and swim right and through us. <laughs> keep going, keep going, keep going. Okay, okay. Um, he would jump, would paddle, and it would just stop, stop, <laughs> oh my stop gosh. short, and, and 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 not just stop short, but he would stop and just float and, and be looking up. And when he holds his breath, he doesn't close his mouth. So his mouth is open. <laughs> his mouth is open. He's looking up. And he's just floating there. Just waiting to be picked up. Just kind of kind of half sinking, half floating a few inches underwater. It's terrifying. It's uh, terrifying. You know, it's one of those moments. Uh, you, you try not to think ill of your kids. But it's one of those moments that you, you just you can't help but look at them and say, you're kind of dumb. I mean, I, I love you and all. Son. I love you and all, but you're kind of dumb. Uh, it, it, I mean, you know, incredibly trusting. That's that's a good thing, but also kind of dumb. Um, wow. So that was. I remember thinking like, that about you. Oh, Eddie, remember? Eddie. <laughs> I'm sure that you don't have to go very far back into your memory to <laughs> to remember those thoughts. Um, yeah. But it was it was a lot of fun. Um, so just trying to. <laughs> Trying to enjoy what we have left of summer before my wife goes back to work. She works, she's a school teacher, so. Um, I remember that. Remember her? Yeah. Uh, um, and uh, so just trying to take opportunities to enjoy the time that we've got together um, before things get back into a uh, even more hectic schedule. Hey, speaking of rem remembering something, I forgot to tell you. Um, J D I G H S X. Yeah. Our buddy J. He, you know, recently started vaping to try to get off mm -hmm. of snooze. Mm -hmm. You know, um, he'll he'll smoke a pipe, he'll smoke cigars, but the snooze habit was really 
really gripping him. Yeah. He's pretty much 100% off the snooze wow. now. Wow. That's amazing. Uh, the vaping has helped. And for those of you who don't know, he bought you know one of those inexpensive cigarette-looking electronic cigarettes and was really disappointed in it. To, to his credit, he bought one of the better ones. He, he didn't buy the one... Or that friend is, sent him, I think, right? It, yeah, it, it, he bought an Ego battery, an Ego-style battery, which is really, if you go to the, the gas station, it's the nicer of the two styles that you can get. You can get one that looks just like a cigarette, and you right. can get one that looks like they've strapped a double-A battery onto a, a, a cap that can be screwed right. onto it. That's the kind that he got. And that's what, you know, um, when Dad and I first started vaping, we started, the only thing available were the, were the ones that looked like cigarettes. And, uh, and then that was amazing when those came out because compared to what we had, it was yeah. incredible. But at that stage, it still was not the most effective thing for helping someone quit a tobacco habit. Well, and if you're comparing that to a cigar or a pipe, there is no comparison. You just can't get enough vapor production or, in Jay's case, nicotine delivery. All right. So, anyway, uh, that I was thrilled to hear that, that that has, uh, has helped him get out of that habit. Yep. For those so. of you that, that want to get out of a habit like that, remember, you can always get a higher um, nicotine level uh, juice. juice and higher uh, power, higher wattage or voltage. Um, is going to give you a thicker vape, and that thicker vape um, dissipates the nicotine into your body, into your bloodstream a lot faster. So if you, you are struggling, if you're wanting to quit and having a hard time, if you get something with a little bit more power, um, you'll, it'll kick it up a notch, which is why people that vape with um, you know, devices that let them go up to 50 watts, let's say, most of those people, longtime smokers, only vape at about 3 milligrams um, per milliliter nicotine, whereas if they were using something um, like what Jay initially got, they would probably be vaping 18 to 24. Um, mm. So there's just that much more absorption if you're at a higher power. Yeah, the higher power allows it to atomize it better, right? Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. Um, and it burns we... up a whole lot more. A bigger cloud is, yeah. is an awful lot more juice that's being burnt up, right? So, you know, you imagine... Burnt uh, up or consumed? Atomized, consumed, used yeah, up, yeah. right? So you think a, a small pinch of salt is going to add flavor. Um, a handful of salt or a large pinch of salt is, is going to have a, an even greater effect. So, yeah. Now, we asked a question last week, and we said we weren't going to answer it till this week. What was that question? Do you remember? I, I seem to recall the saying we weren't going to answer it until next week. <laughs> We wanted to give ourselves plenty of time to think about it. Abs absolutely, we did. Um, you had asked about what's your favorite movie. Yeah. Um, and I feel like we, or favorite concert. Um, yes. I feel like we discussed that quite a bit. Uh, we did. And then, uh, I, don't, I don't recall. We, we did talk about... I don't about, remember either. We should do some preparation on these videos. Yeah, we did talk about Beam last week. We did. Um, nope. I don't know. All right. I have I have no idea. Well, then I guess the good news is this can be a short video. Yeah, it's good we both news. Have, we both have things to do, and uh, thanks for making this time, boy. Absolutely, absolutely. And, thank uh, you for making to the it rest work. of rest of you in the uh, Breakfast Club. Thank you for your time, uh, and throw us, throw us questions into the uh, the comment box down below if you have any questions or comments or cheap shots. We're happy to answer them and work them into our into our breakfast club sessions, and uh, we'll get back on track here soon with a little more forethought. And, uh, yeah, and, and we should be back in the shop soon, hopefully. If it's not, I hope it cools not, down. It's not so hot. Yeah, hope it cools down. I, I just stopped by the shop to drop off a strip sander I just bought. Did I tell you I bought some more equipment? Nope. Uh, where'd you put it exactly? In, Mm. yeah all right i think we'll wrap this up now all right <laughs> all right guys make it a great week bye guys bye, bye.